You're watching CBS 2 News in high definition. Seems like every day we're hearing about a new round of companies folding or laying off in workers. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. It's a tough time to be looking for a job right now, and you might not believe what some people are doing to get a jump on the competition. I'm pretty worried. I'm eating in soup kitchens right now. Oh, it's going haywire right now. I've been out of work for almost a year. Prices are rising and people are out of work. It is a competitive job market where looking good may be as important as what's on your resume. They're coming for me to get to give them a little bit of edge. Plastic surgeon Dr. Amia Prasad sees a surge in business as the economic news worsens. What they'll do is they'll they'll plan. They'll just they'll they'll, they'll get the resume. They got everything together. And they're going to look in the mirror and they go, you know what? I better do something. Now, the frown line area is usually very sensitive. Patients like 53 year old Teresa Rampello says she hopes that doing something about her deep facial lines will give her a leg up if she loses her job. I just feel the getting rid of them will make me look younger. So, this way, if I am thrown out there in the workforce, It'll be easier for me to get a job. Across town, Bridget Schoonover, okay. with the same worries, is also having work done. Hopefully, make me look more attractive, younger, more competitive in the workplace, and looks do count, unfortunately. Executive recruiter Stephen Viscusi says cosmetic procedures are a luxury, no more. It's not vanity and it's not superficial, it's now practical. In recessionary time. The upper lip looks pretty nice. So. Just minutes after her procedure, Rampello already sees improvement Benefit. and says she'll yeah, now have right the edge here. she it needs. I feel better. I feel like I'm going to look better and um, yeah, I'll be more confident.